During the Singapore Art Week, I attended two events. The first event was S23, held at the LaSalle Amphitheatre, and the second event was ArtSG, held at the Marina Bay Sands Expo. The setup of S23 was inspired by the local coffee shop chain S11. S23 was decorated with nostalgic tableware and props, which reminded me of the coffee shops in the 1980s. There were live performances at specific timings on each day and a corner where visitors can participate in an ongoing art project. The intention of S23 was to provide a place of rest, strike conversations with strangers and reflect on the events of Singapore Art Week. In the daytime, LaSalle students would be drawn to S23. It was an open concept with a DJ playing groovy music. At night, there will be a sizable crowd of adults between 20 to 60 years old. In my interview with Bridget Tay, the curator, and Isabel Dejou, one of the performance artists, I learned that these audience members were not there by chance. The independent artists drummed out publicity on their social media to bring in the crowd. From my experience of S23, I felt that the purpose of Singapore Art Week was to showcase our cultural heritage and to reach out to a broad audience. In my opinion, S23 was aligned with the purpose and objectives of Singapore Art Week. Firstly, the coffee shop culture showcases a part of our cultural heritage. Secondly, the free admission to S23 removed any barriers to entry, thus allowing more people to participate. Thirdly, it was a non-intimidating setup. The audience would not need to have any arts background to appreciate the event. Lastly, S23 was able to attract a wide demographic from teenagers to seniors. The second event was ArtSG. This was the inaugural ArtSG. It hosted more than 150 of the world's leading galleries. It also showcased works by popular artists such as Damien Hirst and Mr. Doodles. The audience consisted of art collectors, art connoisseurs and art students. The art collectors were there to purchase art while the connoisseurs were there to judge and appreciate. The art students were observing all interaction and art pieces with a keen eye. From my experience of Art SG, I feel that art is a medium used to stimulate the Singapore economy and a tool in global positioning in the art sector. Art SG attracted overseas art collectors to fly into Singapore. This is a boost for tourism and spending. It also shows our ability to organize and execute successful large-scale art fairs. In conclusion, I feel that the Singapore Art Week had met multiple facets of purposes and objectives. Art has aesthetic, cultural and economic value. The numerous events, coupled with intense publicity, work to increase arts awareness during this week.